Well, here, here's the thing. Yeah. Elizabeth and Jason, uh, first of all, uh, right there, Greg Mansfield, introduce you. And then switch the camera over here. Here we go, Jason. This is Rick Famey, and he's sort of our captain of this little thing. Now, as soon as I get up here, I'm, gonna, I'm in the front, but I can't be here because... You know, I, to be safely back here, I got to come in there because we're really going to hit kind of a top speed. The reason is what we want to do this morning is give you an idea, give you a feel of what it's like uh, to go on the racetrack. And Rick, we're, I guess what we're, we're, we're they're allowing us on the actual racetrack. We're going to run the racetrack before the actual Thunderboats. Yes, we are. Once we shut this down, we can't be on the water like this. So they're going to give us a quick run around this course. So they can see what's going on. All right. This is the first time this has happened on Good Morning San Diego. Jason Elizabeth, are you ready to go? Are you guys with us? Are you anchored oh, down? Uh, yeah. We are definitely anchored today. That is I get it. Anchor <laughs> desk. Anchor. You want to see where they start? Let's okay, see this it, is where Dave. they start. That's a Thunderbolt. They come off that, that ramp. Are you guys ready? No. Oh, wait. Let me, let me close this hatch here, Rick, for safety purposes. Oh, it's just for the wind. Um, can you see through or do you want the hatch open? Easier to open. Right Let's do it open. We'll get a little wind Okay. Well, then I, I'm just going to hold on right here. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Because, Jason, are you anchored down? Are you are you okay? Because okay. he's going to... This is the Thunderboats, but they're about five, ten times faster than we're going. Okay. They'll, yeah, they'll do about 170. Yeah, down the straightaways, they'll do probably 180 and above. Yeah, it's amazing, you guys. This is really... Uh, are we ready? We're going to feel it in just a second. At 8 a.m. We're going to feel it. They're doing a little radio check with the boat commander at T-Dock. And uh, you got to know the lingo if you're going to be out here on the on the uh, <laughs> Mission Bay. By the way, Mission Bay, uh, just to give you an idea, you guys were saying uh, Greg has started in 1964, really for this purpose. Yeah, it was a uh, purpose built for hydroplane racing. It was uh, you can see the edges of, of their kind of concave to knock or not concave, but smoothed out so the wakes will just dis dissipate. Now here, now we're just going to. Here's the thing, all right, Jason Elizabeth has want to make sure that you guys are safe safely seated right now because we're about to rick's about to to give it the go where's your uh good. throttle there there's the throttle are you guys ready rick are you ready i was born ready all right here we go make we're ready. gonna put here we go hold on it moves fast this is a check of the race course the first time ever on good morning san diego rick what how fast can this this boat get up? To? Was the water ski wakeboard boat? So about top speed, about 42 miles an hour. It feels like we're going 142. Imagine doing 180. We're only doing 40. It's incredible. Now the Thunderboat racers want to cut these corners tight. Because he said, "Hold on, he's going to cut the corner tight. Can you maybe just kind of sit all the way down, and get your feet anchored in there?" Jason, Elizabeth, are you guys anchored? We can feel it. I'm in. Yeah, when there's three or four of them, they're racing around the corners, and whoever's got the outside has got a longer way around the course. And at 180 miles, there's so much water, they can barely see where the boats are doing. Yeah. And these guys are all lined up to watch them. See the guys on Fiesta Island? They're all watching the races. And then we got divers stationed out here in case they have a crash. Greg, what time do the Thunderboats actually hit the water today? They'll do some testing this morning, but all the racing is this afternoon. We have two heats and then the Bill Muncy finals at 4.30, and that's when they turn it on. They've got to persevere through to make it to the final. All right, so Jason Elizabeth at 4.30 today, that's when the big heats are on. Um, Rick Famey, you've been out on the water how many years now? Uh, since I was about 14 years old. A long time. I fell in love with boats and never stopped buying them. Well, we're on this next turn. This is the first turn. Here we go. Hold on. This is the first turn. Come on in. Keep it on the front of the boat. Watch out. <laughs> wow, that even that that was only a little bend. Yeah, we're only doing, let's say it's getting up to 40 miles an hour. It's only doing 40 miles an hour. This is where, if they don't hit it right, they fishtail. Yeah, maybe doing 120 on these turns. 120 on the turn. And then right now we're camp land on the bay and we're coming around another turn here. Another turn. Jason, you okay? All right. 
Jason Elizabeth, are you guys okay? Man, you know, this is making Jason for... Elizabeth, you gotta lean in. When okay. we do the turn, you guys have to lean into it. Is that this is it right here. Right and now it's back! Oh my, oh my goodness. That's in case you're dodging one of the other guys that spun out. Rick, you know what you're doing. A little bit. He's a, he's a good guy. We hope so. And can you imagine running four or five wide with boats next to you? you got to be perfect. You have to be perfect. If you slip out, you're going to hit another boat. And they don't like it. Yeah. It's now a, the home stretch. Take a look at the wake behind us. Take a look at the wake behind us, you guys. Look at that. I mean, we're really moving. So Jason and Elizabeth, you guys at home, if you're on your couch, we're really moving. And it takes a lot of skill just to handle this at 42 miles per hour. Imagine what the race drivers, it's like NASCAR on the water. Oh, it's it's sure. definitely NASCAR in order. Wow. And when they blow, when they hit, they blow up parts everywhere. Sometimes they're in a little capsule on the side, keep them safe. Well, right now, you know, we, we have to thank our producers for allowing us to make this run. This is really a, an historic, this is historic morning to be able to bring this to you. A little tiny chop, what it does to the boat, a little bit of ripple. Imagine 180 miles an hour and hitting that ripple. Does that mean that be between each race they have to have a certain amount of time for the water to calm down? No, because they'll do eight laps around sometimes, but they call them hydroplanes because they hit a ripple and they're in their airplanes. Wow. There's, there's some other boats there. They're probably... Wow, I can't believe. I mean, we just we just all, already got back. Yep, how fast. <laughs> how far, how far, Greg, is the entire track? It's 2.5 miles. They'll do three laps around, uh, around the course, and then the final will be four laps, or I believe it's actually five laps on that. And, and Rick, it doesn't take them long to get around uh, that three to four mile uh, track, right? No, they'll do it five times faster than we just did it, probably. Jason Elizabeth, <laughs> we... <laughs> I know, Dave. You're you're, <laughs> you you're, you're out of breath. You're speechless. What a thrill that was. Dave, this is you're making for some great TV today, Dave. This is some really good television, my man. People are home. are having <laughs> breakfast. They're waking up. They're going, "What in the world is going on? What is? Where is Dave Scott?" Well, I just hope that they hold on to their breakfast after yeah. that. You yeah, know, no kidding. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. And, I, and I, I'm really amazed at Jason. I'm just holding a microphone, and I got one hand here. Yeah. He's holding the camera, and that's yeah. a lot heavier. He's got a backpack to worry about. He's so he's down. doing everything. It's, it's like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. She did everything Fred did, but in heels. That's kind of like what J you know, Jason's doing everything <laughs> we're doing, analogy. but he's holding a camera and a backpack. Right, right, wow. right, right. You know. Well, uh, we, we're glad hey, let me ask these guys over safe. Here. Hey, are you guys okay? Because we just went around, it felt like 200 miles an hour. Everyone's doing good on the, you guys all safe and sound? All right. All right, you guys. They got the best team here at T-Doc. This is T-Doc. Good morning, young man. Good morning, how are you? I am wonderful and getting better. This is the best crew right here at T-Doc, right? They're, they're all getting ready. They got all their orange shirts on. <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys, for that experience. That was a chance for, for us here in Good Morning San Diego to take you on a once-in-a-lifetime trip on the actual race course. Uh, it's between three and four miles. No, 2.5 mile course. Two, two and a half miles. And it's one of the fastest because, A, we're in salt water, so the boats are a little more buoyant. But it's also a big, wide course, so they can swing wide and keep their speeds up. You'll see on the boats they have a big skid fin on the side to keep them in the water. And they, they say that they're... they're they feel like a fighter pilot that they pull similar G's in the churns. You know, you could feel it a little bit. Imagine going, you know, uh, 100 miles an hour fast. I tell you, there, there's the thunderbolts, uh, thunderbolts coming into in our picture right now. They look more like like airplanes. They look like spacecraft almost. Yeah, very much so. I mean, you know, they got a turbine engine behind them that they fire up and 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 it goes. There's no doubt about it. And they can go faster, but they've 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 reduced the speed on them to keep the boats together because it's uh it's 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 tough on them. Somebody had said, imagine going over speed bumps at 180 miles an hour. You know, that's what that's what it's like. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, Jason and Elizabeth, we're going to toss it back to you. By the way, we have a nice cool day today. Mm -hmm. 
as a touch warmer tomorrow, and then we cool down the rest of the week. So temperatures going to stay in that mid-70 range along the coast, and temperatures are not going to really get much above 80 degrees this entire week in the inland valleys. It's going to be absolutely marvelous. We sort of stay in the 90s in the desert areas. You couldn't ask for better weather, and right now, uh, with the cool conditions, uh, in San Diego. We could have get a touch of drizzle just a little bit on Thursday morning, maybe into Friday morning. Mm -hmm. But other than that, that's your basic weather forecast. I got to tell you, it's just great to be here with a great